Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about betas and how to lever and unlever them. Now if you don't know where betas are being used, we discussed that in our other lecture on the capital asset uh, pricing model, uh, which is being used to calculate the cost of equity. It's an input into that. But as you already know from the capital asset pricing model, you can get uh, betas from two different ways. You can get betas from, uh, I guess, Regressing it against the index, or you can get it by a peer comparable set and then unlevering and relevering. So, now why do we do unlevering and relevering? It's the, why is it important? So, the uh, levered beta, which is usually what happens when you take a beta of another company, it takes into account their capital structure, which is how much debt they have on hand. Uh, and because of that, you can't really compare one company's beta to another company's beta. So, for example, a uh, chair manufacturing company that has $500 million of debt that comprises 80% of the equity, I mean 80% of the debt and equity is combined, it's not really comparable to the beta of a manufacturing uh, company with, for example, say no debt. So when we unlever the beta, we make the beta capital structure neutral, and that way it can be used to compare against other companies. Now how do we unlever beta? We unlever beta using this uh, formula over here. So unlever beta is equal to, you take the levered beta, which is in the company, and then you divide it by this, which essentially just uh, neutralizes out the capital structure. And essentially it's beta le le uh, levered over this whole thing of one plus, uh, one minus the tax rate, and multiplied by debt over equity. So the reason why this is because uh, look at the proportion of the debt compared to equity, and it takes up uh, the tax rate, and then you have the unlevered beta. And then when we do it the other way around, when you do just the algebra to finishing that out, essentially, to, uh, you multiply this side to that side, and then you divide by this. So your beta uh, levered would be just your beta unlevered multiply by this whole thing of 1 plus 1 minus t uh, d over e. So it's actually pretty, I know it uh, looks like a really long formula, but it's actually pretty easy to remember because it's actually to unlever your beta, you go from your lever beta and divide by the, this, and then to uh, get your lever beta, you take a beta lever and then you multiply that, that back in by this. Now, one thing to note is that when you unlever your beta, uh, this tax rate, the debt and equity, is based on the company that you're unlevering. So, say you have that peer comparable from another company, you're taking their tax rate and their uh, debt and their equity. And when you relever it, you use your target firm's uh, tax rate, your target firm's debt, and target firm's equity. So, say you have a company called um, Wolverine uh, Share Manufacturing. And you have these other companies called uh, Storm Manufacturing and Phoenix Manufacturing. So when you uh, look at Storm Manufacturing, you unlever the beta based on the lever beta of the Storm, and that's uh, tax rate and debt and equity structure. And same thing for Phoenix Manufacturing. And then when you lever it, you lever it back in using the Wolverine uh, inputs. So that pretty much just covers uh, beta levering and unlevering. For more information on how that bit is actually being used, uh, please see our video on the capital asset pricing model, which will uh, should be already up. Thank you.